Greetings, Leo. Welcome to your horoscope. Now, for Leo, I'd say Saturday and Sunday are going to be great for you. You're going to love it, you know. Um, now, Venus moves over into the sixth house. And it's like, you got to help. There's... There's an element in people that are bullies. And so... People who are weaker or are just creative artists, females, are often oppressed by society. Sometimes sixth house it can be a house that obstacles are put in front of us. It can be a beginning place of illnesses, too. And so, you know, we really have to track our health as we're going through something like this. And this is what Capricorn time is for Leo, is just track your health. There's not a lot of sun here, folks. You didn't get a lot of sun in Sagittarius, although it was a good time, right? Now we're in Capricorn, it's like, you're not getting a lot of sun and you, you need to stop the good times. <laughs> I mean, just temporarily, not forever. It's just kind of like, okay, we're going to hunker down. We're going to fulfill our dharma. We're going to do our deeds that we have to do. That's basically what's going on. Now, you know, I, I think I said this last week, but this could be a year where you really change how you relate to people. And now Mercury moving into your seventh house, it's like, yeah, I'm much more able to negotiate and make a deal and I know that I've heard a lot of people, like a lot of Leos or sidereal cancers, and um, my sidereal Vedic teachers are saying that, you know, this is a year where those people, which is mostly Western tropical Leos, most of you, so if you're born before August 16th, um, for sure, um, that you're going to get engaged to be married or divorced. <laughs> um, I know, that's crazy. Um but then there's um, Uranus and Mars in the 10th house. Um, you really want to act independently. And I get it. You know, you can only trust yourself. I, I hear you. You're on your own important mission. Um, but uh, I'd say you you got a lot of negotiation to do this year. <laughs> oh, boy. Or this week. 